Hello folks. Well, I've got another tip here on the Auto G2. I just wanted to show it to you quickly. Many of you have seen my other videos on it, my success. I love this thing uh, from Hobby King. And that is, if you put uh, some resistance on the bottom blade, since these blades do not spin uh, with being torqued, they're not driven, uh, it, they spin by actually the wind blowing against them and creating lift. And I have found that if you increase the drag a little bit on the bottom of the wing, not only does the wing never break, I've never had one break, just nicked, um, it increases the lift and uh, seems to spin faster and uh, stay spinning longer in air. So I'm going to show you how I put the tape on and you can judge for yourself. Okay, first you want to do is just get yourself some white duct tape. That's what I'm using. And uh, the best way to do it is make sure you have the bottom of the wing. This is the more flat side. Okay, and you want to make sure that you'll be able to fold this just about an eighth all the way along like that. And you want to not have any bubbles whatsoever. So, I would fold this over like this. And here we have the top of the wing with a nice strong leading edge. Fold this over like this. That could stay. We're going to balance all these afterwards. But this makes for a beautiful leading edge. It's rough on the bottom and strong. Anything lift out here on the outside edge, just cut, cut that right off so it's nice and even. You know, some folks that I've read said to leave a uh, screw out and so that the uh, blade can rotate like this if you hit something. Well, the problem is during flight that will flex. It, you don't have centrifugal force as much holding that blade out straight because this is not a driven rotor. It's being spun by the wind and so that's not going to work as good. So I have a whole lot better control by leaving that uh, other screw inside there and uh, leaving it rigid so it won't move. That way your coning angle is naturally the same. Perfect. If there's an obviously heavy blade, you'll be able to tell because it will not stop. It will drift back down. Well, I noticed the shaft is slightly bent, which is going to cause a bit of vibration. I get it close, but I don't have a shaft at the moment, so I'm going to let it ride for this demo. As to be honest with you, all helicopters vibrate, and we had some real shakers in Vietnam, so this is no big deal to me. You know it ain't 3D. If you don't have a good runway, I'm going to try hand launch with the tape on the bottom here. So I want to get it spinning up first. Hit the start switch. And away it goes. And I'm going to shut off the power.
<laughs> well, that works pretty good. Very good. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. Nice. It, it likes to climb a lot. I think, you know, I've already put some uh, nose weight here. It needs more down thrust, uh, I think. Or maybe I will move this forward next time. Anyway, that, that was a good run.